for Jade. If, if you could think of maybe one, just one big lesson that you're going to take away from this particular meet uh, and apply it, what would it be? Uh, well, I guess you have to be able to adapt to the different environments. Uh, there's here is so humid, so hot, so much different than Canada, and I was able to adapt and actually hit my routines uh, not too bad and, and be happy with how I competed. So. When you come up against a country like this, which has such a reputation in gymnastics and so much depth, so many good gymnasts, uh, how do you approach it mentally coming into a meet with just so many good uh, gymnasts like that? Uh, well, we do have that in the back of our mind that um, you know these are the best gymnasts uh, in the world. But um, what you gotta do is try to just um, keep your composure and. Um, just trust your training and uh, do the do the same thing that you do in training for uh, for competition. In, in terms of your own trajectory heading towards the London Olympics, do you feel you're more or less on course at this point? Uh, for me, I've been struggling a little bit with uh, injuries on my um, both my legs actually, um, but uh, I think I think I am on track uh, for the Olympics. Yes. You made an event final. Rings your favorite event. Uh, how'd you feel about the way things went uh, with today's routine? Uh, they went really good. It's probably the cleanest, clean, one of the cleanest routines I could do. So did all I could do, and whatever the results were, that's what they were. Uh, you mentioned that you felt pretty good. You didn't seem nervous. Uh, what's it been like uh, coming into the the power of gymnastics in China and uh, and going up against these guys? Uh, it's been pretty overwhelming. They got a lot of they got a strong team, a lot of hard, really good guys. So um, yeah, I don't know. Just I take in as much as I can out of them and and then go home and work towards getting as good as they are. So.